Aloha and happy Wednesday. So I'm sitting here eating lunch down at the beach. Big beach. Big white sand beach. Right in town. We call it the old A's, which is the old airport. And these kids found, I think they said it was a crab. So we'll have to wait and see what they find. He got them all out of the water, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, now they're trying to bait it. <laughs> I saw it pop up. And there are little crabs here called Kona crabs. Very odd looking. They're kind of a cross between a, a uh, I don't know, like a, uh, oh. Kind of like a regular crab and a uh, coconut crab. <laughs> the ocean looked really weird this morning when I came down off the hill. I think it's because our winds are shifting from the trade winds to a, to a, instead of an easterly wind to a westerly. And it kind of in between that time, it's as flat as glass. And then you see the, the wind, they make trails in, in the water. It's kind of weird, but that's how it was explained to me. And where it's calm and not windy, it's like glass. But the winds come up a little bit this afternoon. But this is the beach that I spend so much of my time on when I got here. It's because it was just a short drive from work and then on the way home. And this is the majority of this beach here is where I collected all my puka shells for my puka necklace. And I don't wear it too often because I'm afraid that it's going to break and then all the pukas will just... And puka, puka means hole. So puka shell, that's why they can get away with calling just about anything with a hole in it. A puka. Back in the day in the 70s, the knockoff puka shells were just oyster shells and then... And then plugs drilled out of them and then strung on something and they called it a puka shell. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's a shell and it's got a puka in it. So it's a shell with a hole in it. But the real pukas are from a little shell, uh, seashell here. A little um, snail, I guess. And the spiral on it, once it's washed over the sand enough and time and just time, and we're talking tens of years, if not hundred years, for them to wear a hole through it. I'll, I'll take a picture of it one time. I think I have a picture on my Instagram. 
that's when I first did it, but I revised it a couple times since then. Because I found more and was able to take the, the purple beads off. Let's take a picture of it. Well, with the glare of the clouds, I can't see what's in the water, what they're looking at. Yesterday, I spent most of the day out. It was the sunniest and prettiest day I think we've had since the whole shutdown came about. Uh, it started out absolutely gorgeous in the morning with no clouds and basically no wind. And by the time the sun was setting, I was out and about and finally caught a sunset. <laughs> I mean, that I could see from the house. So. There's something out there bobbing in the. I'm going to stop this here and restart it again because they're going to go catch whatever there. Aloha.